Look, I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you, but I thought you had a right to know. Ryan, please say something. Anything. You have every right to be mad. If you want to scream, then scream. If you want to be mad, be mad. You have every right. Just, just let it all out, Brian. Just let it all out. You have every right to feel the way you feel. I just can't believe this is happening to me. How can she do this to me? I mean I know I messed up first but, she didn't waste any time finding someone else. And of all people she chose your ex-boyfriend, wow. I thought I knew her. But I guess not. B, I guess, we never really knew Jazz. I mean I always thought of her as someone that you can, you can turn to, you know? with your problems and your secrets and your, your dreams and your fears, but lately I just don't know who she is anymore. Okay class, let's get started. It's like, I can't even talk to Jackie. I mean, she stares at me. It's like I feel her eyeballs burning to the back of my skull. No one wants to talk to me. It's like, it's like the plague. I'm not the same anymore without my girls. Every one of them hates me. Well, except for Monica, I'm surprised that she's still my friend. I don't know who I can talk to. Well, besides you. Mia, this is awful. I really, really screwed this up. I should have been open and honest with Brittany from the get-go. I don't know, maybe things would be different. Maybe she would have a heart and understand. Or maybe things would have been still the same. Look, Jazz, you can't change nothing. I mean, it's their loss, okay? You need to stop beating yourself over it. Of course, I do feel like a lot of this is basically my fault. And I'm sorry I put you through this. What are you talking about, Mia? If anybody's fault is mine, I'm not being honest and upfront in the beginning. And, I don't know. I seriously really think there's no going back. I know this is kind of a sucky time to ask this, but this hasn't changed your feelings about me, has it? You still, you still love me, right, Jazz? Because I still love you. My feelings for you has never changed. Of course, Mia. My loves have never changed for you. No matter what we're going through, we're going through it together. But I still love you. And I've always loved you. And I always will love you. No matter what. I love you, Mia. Mia. Hey, Brittany. Look. I know that you... I never want to talk to me again. But I don't think I don't think you have the right to be mad at Jazz the way you have been. Excuse me? What the hell are you talking about, Nia, that I don't have the right? You have some nerve. If if the tables were turned and and someone was dating me and that was close friends with you, you would not be cool with it now, would you? First off, let's get one thing straight, Brittany. Yeah, I screwed up and I broke your heart, okay? But I'm a changed person. But you made that very clear that you want nothing to do with me. So why are you tripping now that I have someone new? What's the problem? The problem is you're dating my best friend. You can have any woman you wanted, anyone in the world. But why did you have to pick Jazz? Personally, Nehemiah, I think you did it on purpose just to hurt me. And let me tell you something. You did a very damn good job. You gots to be kidding me. Man, Brittany, the world does not revolve around you. This isn't Brittany's world. Damn. You didn't want me. So get over it. But don't freaking throw your friendship 
with your one and only best friend away for nothing. You know what, Brittany? You really need to get over yourself. I got over you. It's time for you to get over me. Okay? And mend whatever fragile relationship you had with Jazz and do it now. Because you're going to live to regret it. Trust and believe. Wow, huh? How you doing, Brian? You, uh, you look good? I hope everything's good with you and your family? I really don't know what else to say. Well, I have plenty to say. And you're not leaving until you have heard everything I am going to say to you.